Hey everybody. So on this uh, T6 build, I don't know that I'm going to be able to update you every single day with what gets done. I don't know if I'll be able to work on it every day. I mean, as a two-man shop, it's uh, it's a lot to keep you know everything going. I do all the paperwork for the shop, um, and you know, for example, today. But we just got a transmission back and a clutch back to go in that freight liner there. Um, then, you know, we had planned on starting this T6 today. I had a 567 Pete with the Packard engine come in today with a bad turbo and a bad water manifold in the frame. Um, had another customer get towed in today, uh, blew a head gasket and a Z model and uh yeah it had to be towed because he had water coming in on the number six piston and locked the engine up uh so stuff like that uh i'm quite busy and i don't really like to do my filming when other people are around i just uh my personality i'd rather do this by myself and uh not make a big deal of it uh none of my customers or friends really know that i'm doing these videos yet I'm sure it'll happen eventually, but um, in the meantime, you know, I'm just doing this kind of low key and putting it out there. Um, so, anyway, um, let me show you what we did get done today. First chore was to make room in the shop. So, um, we uh, lifted my car up and uh, we got all our parts under there. We got boxes and stacks and grill and um, just you know lights and assorted junk and parts um, fuel tank straps so uh, along with the engine a lot of engine parts and stuff like that so as the first first thing we got room opened up and we uh, we were able to man able to get this truck in here today and started tearing it down um got the hood and bumper off first thing and uh then proceeded pulled the radiator as a whole um it's a lot more efficient to just uh unhook hoses and lines and pull it as a unit um strip most everything off the engine that's still need to be removed in order for the engine to come out um got the turbos out of our way um, I'm sure there's a few hoses here and there and maybe a little bit of electrical left. I don't know that we touched the starter yet. Um, I got the drive shafts out, got the exhaust completely off of it. Um, the transmission is probably more than three quarters of the way ready to come out. But of course our jacks and our uh, transmission jack, it's all tied up right now. So. Um, gonna have to work that out but uh this is project for day one um i don't know about you all but t6s have never been my favorite truck um they're just you know they're not a big hood pete or kenworth but on the other hand uh i'm kind of excited about this job um i like the customer i'm working for and I like the way he's thought about this job. I like the way he's financed it. He owns a truck outright. Um, he had a, most most of the money, I think, ready to do this job ahead of time. He he's had some financing just uh, to to not strap himself too far. But uh, you know he he's going about this right. He's he's running an older truck and making money with it. He's a very particular guy. I don't know if you can see in here very well, but I guarantee you, uh, he, he keeps his truck very clean. Um, and that's the way his personal vehicles has all, have always been. You just don't find him dirty or torn up. Um, so I like the way he runs his operation. And uh, so yeah, definitely uh, follow along with us here on this build. Um, there's going to be a lot of inter interesting aspects to it. He's got some good ideas and, and this truck isn't going to be recognizable when the job's done. Um, lots of reasons to watch this build between the engine rebuild and, and then all the other stuff we're going to do to it. Um, it's going to be pretty fun. So definitely 
subscribe to my channel um, like this video if, if you if you do find it interesting definitely check back and see what happens